hi guys, I'm Kiana and thank you for all the new subscribers, though there are a few. Hello guys, what's up homies? Welcome to the channel and I'm going to be doing my reading story or how I started reading. Now, this is a little... <laughs> I tried to film this a couple of times and it was like, <sighs> was not in focus. And then in some of those cases I was missing some parts of the story so I'm like, finally got my life together. So let's begin. Now my love for reading really started from my dad. I got it from my dad because my dad would read to me for years while I was in the womb for the first nine months of my life in my mother's womb. <laughs> and uh, and he would also do the different voices for each character so that it would be like high and low and like it, just, it was just give personality to the characters. I used to stutter um, when I was younger until like six or seven grade. And of course kids are super stinking mean they're worse today but and I would avoid words s's p's different letters because I knew that would it would pinpoint and put a bullseye on my back <laughs> so um I just kept reading 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 books and sticking my head in books um and it kind of sucked kind of sucked and I I was always a positive child so I mean, I used to, when I was younger, I used to cry because it when I would get home because it would really like I'm like why why can't I say what I want to say like without pausing or anything? So you as the years um, went by, um, I'll end up getting strong because I was like, look here, this ain't gonna work. I can I can do this like I can talk and look if people don't like it, cool, whatever. I kind of threw it out the window at some point, and so I was like, look. I always look, at, look on the positive side because I'm always a very optimistic person. I read more books and it actually made me much much stronger person than I am today. So I'm really, really super happy that um, I worked through it. Like when I would get um, into middle and high school, like 8th, 9th, 10th grade level, I would see people and just burnt my soul when people would, other people, I would see other people who would stutter and they would make other people, other kids would make fun of them. I'm like, no, I would be that first person to be like, do not, don't mess with them because they're trying to, you need to listen to what they're saying. Don't interrupt. Let them get their entire thoughts out. And it would just burn, it burns my soul to this day to see people mess with people, like just pick at people who stutter. Like they're trying, just, they're trying. Just leave them alone, like leave them alone. Like I'm, it just burns my soul when people do that. So when people laugh at them, I'm just like, don't try me, please don't try me today. Yeah, we would, every time we would read something and we didn't know what a word was, he would always hand us the handy little dictionary and say, the dictionary is your best friend. And clearly, it actually ended up being my best friend. So I was putting this accelerated reading program so the Accelerate Reading Program, they don't have it now, but back in my elementary school, back in the elementary school days, they had it. And it's essentially where a kid uh, reads way above their current grade level. So like in first grade, I was reading on like a sixth, seventh grade, ninth grade level. Um, and I've always been a smart, intelligent kid. So that was, I was in Accelerate Reading Program from first to fifth, sixth grade. And then in middle school, um, they didn't have it, but they had us on like an AP, like kind of fast, advanced team, and they named it by like tigers, like jaguars, and panthers, leopards, and it would be based on your test scores. So the first year, I was in like the highest one, and then like I fit, fit, realized that that was going way too fast for me, so they put me on to like the intermediate kind of not too fast track. It was cool with me. I was cool. And so during these summers um, of my elementary and half of my middle school years, my dad would take me and my little sister, who you've seen on a couple of two videos on my channel, with, um, and he would take us to the library every summer. And like my love for the library increased every summer because I knew one summer, the last day of summer hit, and I knew after I did my summer work that my dad graciously, also oh graciously, gave me. We would go to the library and it would just be hours of awesomeness. So basically, essentially, we had father-daughter bonding time in the library. And it was the most awesome thing ever. Like, I loved, I loved the library. Like, the newness of the books. You could just sit there and I would actually get, I would actually check out the maximum books. And I think it was 25 at the time. Um, and then I was actually in the Hello Ruffin Reading Bowl. Um, my middle school, all of my middle school years, I was actually the president 
cap no cap no we didn't call it president we called it captain um because we went to competitions and it was so cool like it was like when we went to those competitions during my middle school years for Helen refereeing bowl if you guys don't know um i just love that club like i support my peeps in the hrr Helen refereeing bowl hrrb peeps because yes we were i was a captain and it was just awesome like I, we would go to competitions and we would get quiz on different books that we were supposed to study and it was just the bomb like it was like people like me who read i was like oh, what the, this is this exists and, but um yeah so we would do that and then as we got older and my hit well, i hit my high school years we didn't really go anymore but my elementary my middle and my high school the librarian knew me by name they knew i would check out like the maximum number of books <laughs> and of course i still hated books um but i did have like friends who were super cool like they were like very artsy chill people so they didn't care um and by seventh eighth grade i had got kind of grew out of stuttering which was cool i didn't realize that i did but i guess i did according to my dad <laughs> and um so high school was really cool and I was actually in a Pretty Little Liars book club my ninth grade year which if you guys know and you are avid PLL watchers that's when the show started and we had it for like a short time for that year and that was it. So my ninth grade year we was in I was as I said I was in the PLL reading club and then my 10th 11th 12th grade year um, I mostly essentially read my entire high school library. It was just fun and I loved it. It's kind of what grew my love for reading um and then my 11th half halfway through my 11th grade year and going to my 12th grade year my senior year i found booktube and i was like wait hold on wait hold on two whole seconds there are people like me who love reading who literally are like you know brave and put their face on youtube and talk about books and i was like what so i watched for a good year and a half and then after senior year i was like look People didn't really know you in high school, okay? You were pretty, you know, quiet. It will be fun. And you can find people who are like you. And four years later, here I am with a huge bookshelf over like 200-something, 300-something books, which is really technically small versus all the people that I watch on booktubers. And I started watching, I think, who was it? Oh my goodness. Oh, it was really some old school booktubers that I don't think they booktube anymore, but they were just wonderful. And I was just like, oh, there are people like me who read and love talking about books and just other bookish things. And yeah, I want to do that. And so I made a booktube channel after my senior year and that would be 2013. And it was beautiful. And here we are now. So I hope you guys enjoy my reading story my reading story and whatnot um i should be having my giveaway coming soon i'm trying to do the kinks and create it and do the kinks out of it so it wouldn't be weird um because this is my first giveaway so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed my reading story and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao